Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Steve. I've really enjoyed being in this campsite. Been here over a week, but time to leave. Heading to the big city, heading for Rome. Basketball, football. I hadn't seen these courts before. I mean, this place, it really does have everything. It's, a, it's just brilliant for families, especially. You know, can't deny it so far. I found the cities have all been pretty run down, dilapidated looking, especially in the outskirts. Hopefully, Rome's going to be different. No comment on the road conditions. So not too far to travel today. I'm already in the outskirts of Rome. I think I was only going like 38 kilometers in all. The first stop, post office. I have a collection to pick up, and I'm a bit excited about. I see a roller coaster. Oh, very old roller coaster. I doubt that's still in action. So far so good, I mean, Rome looks beautiful, like really, really nice. At last, a city that lives up to its expectations. Well maintained, well manicured, look at those beautiful buildings, fantastic. I'm a bit of a geek when it comes to mechanical things like a bridge. To me, that's, that's stunning, that's amazing looking. And so far, touch wood, no really narrow streets. Right, so Google says you've arrived, but I haven't, not for the first time. Google's brought me to the wrong place. Right, I'm gonna give the other app, the Here app, a go and see if it does any better. It's 500 meters further away than what Google said. Oh, in saying that, that's providing this app's right. So lucky to find that spot. There's nowhere to park. I haven't seen any other spots and I've got reasonably close. Things always work out. Job done, deboxing shortly, but now off to find the campsite. Yo, KFC, a few hundred yards from the campsite, finger licking good. I've arrived campsite in the middle of Rome which would be brilliant except I can only stay tonight she said they're booked up tomorrow and right over the weekend which is a problem because I was going to spend tomorrow doing my Rome visit but she said she'll if there are any spots come up she'll let me have it so what I do in Rome is going to depend on her and it's funny I'm always talking about people wearing big coats and all and it's warm today it's, it's the first day it's been really warm like 22 degrees. I'm actually sweating and everyone's still got their coats on and that girl had a coat on and a scarf. Just shows you when you're used to hot temperatures how it must be difficult to deal with the cold. It's supposed it's the same. I go to Thailand and it's boiling hot. Sometimes you, you can hardly walk in it and Thai people are just getting on with their life. Just whatever you're used to I suppose. But anyway, I'm here. I need milk and a couple of other bits and pieces and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to unbox. Unbox what? You might ask. The seashore bucket. Scooters everywhere. Right, so here we go. Unboxing. Anyone any idea what it is? Right, I've been looking forward to this for a couple of weeks. Unboxing this. It's 
took a fair bit of abuse in its travels, which is making it a wee bit harder to open. Now, remember, I haven't looked in yet. Dinner! Oh my god. Right, so this is how it came about. I was talking to a very good friend recently, Caroline, from home, who had seen my previous videos about me moaning about not being able to get my stuff anywhere. And she kindly offered to send anything I wanted to wherever it was going to be. And that's what it did. It's treat time. I have to eat a penguin after my dinner. It's just a thing I've done for years. And I never brought enough. I ran out of them about four days ago. I did bring quite a lot. I don't remember buying those. <laughs> and haven't had peppered sauce. This is better than Christmas morning for me. Caroline, thank you very much. You've went up even a wee bit higher in my estimation, although you couldn't have been much higher anyway. But thank you. So, dogs, delighted with their treats. It's the next morning. It's half past 12. I still don't know if I'm going to be able to stay here. And I've looked and there's a bigger looking motorhome site closer to the sightseeing area. And I've just decided I'm going to go there. It's about 20 minutes away. Plus, this campsite isn't great for the dogs. The girl doesn't like you letting them out of the van, even in their leads. So the other place looks more normal. So I'm going to head there now. And then the plan is walk to the Coliseum. Just for a brief look around. And then I'm going to leave tomorrow. I have a few things to do tomorrow on the Edskircher Road. This is so strange. I turned a couple of corners. I'm in the city. You turn the corners and all of a sudden you look like you're in the countryside. But I'm not. I'm still in the city. I'm loving Rome. It's so beautiful. My favourite cities so far in my life have been number one, Bangkok, number two, London, number three, New York, number four, Paris. Now, Rome, although I haven't spent a lot of time in it yet, would definitely be in my top five somewhere. Here we go again. Now for the first time, Google's brought me, I've been driving around in circles for a while. And I've swapped to this here up. I should use it all the time, actually. It definitely doesn't make as many mistakes. Looks like a car park. That's all right. So this campsite, it's not pretty or anything, but far better for me. Look, I can let them, this, in fact, this is brilliant because I can just let them run about there. I, that's the lead's only in about half its length. I can lengthen those now. So they can run about. One problem is, this area here is the area where there's no electricity. Hopefully I'll have power, I haven't checked yet. But I'll survive without it anyway, it's only one night. And what I'm going to do now, let the dogs run about for a while. And then I'm going to get organised and walk. It's only four kilometres to the Colosseum. Walk back, stay here the night, and then head towards the outskirts. Do a few messages, and then up the coast again, which I'm looking forward to. But it's great to be here. It's really warm, it's proper summer. There's even Italian people today, I noticed, although not all, um, not wearing coats. So guys, we're gonna leave it off there. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe would be great. Until next time, bye for now.